I laid out an example spread for my Know Thyself or Know Yourself spread so I can give you a quick explanation for you to understand my reading. Now there's four main cards. This is what you know, this is what is and can be yours, and this is self and self-awareness, and over here is the future card. And there's four clarification cards to each main card. And then up above is the energy of the reading card, and over on the right on the bottom is a rune, because I'll be doing a rune reading after the tarot reading. And on with the readings. Hi there, Aries. This is a general June reading that's a sequel to my June love reading. Now, I was just kind of exploring to see how welcomed my love readings would be, and I decided to go on with the general reading. Now, for your overall energy of your reading, you received the moon card. And you don't want the moon card anymore. It was like you were mired in some uncertainty from the subtle reflective light of the moon. It was causing some type of distortions, deception, and paradoxically, maybe even some intuition. But somewhere in the middle of this, you had a runaway imagination going on here, or some kind of feral emotions that blinded you into manifesting false truths. And things were really not what they appeared to be. And the shadows of the moon were casting obscure thoughts into your mind. And you weren't really looking at what mattered to you in your life. And now you want to find out what matters in your life and get rid of what doesn't matter. And really what's left is your truth, your truth of life. And it appears that your life path is changing because over on the right for the future cards, you receive two magicians. It's time to manifest new things and there's, there is going to be some new paths to walk. In the light of the moon, you felt directionless. You didn't even know what your destination was and you're tired of this and you want to go somewhere with goals in mind. And over on the left, for what you know, you received the chariot and the seven of cups. And the chariot is about moving forward and overcoming opposing forces and even having a spiritual awakening. I don't think it's equated to more of a religious hallelujah thing, more than just a, a spiritual awareness that's helping you direct your life. The one thing that jumps out at me is that the chariot is number seven and you have the seven of cups cards. So it's really being commanded by the number seven, which is a spiritual card of completeness and even biblically perfection. And it is for truth seekers. And I think that's what you're trying to find out now because the moon card says there's been some hidden truths and maybe these are some offbeat questions that you're having that are so extrasensual that there isn't even an answer to some of your questions. But now you want to be a, a doer and go on a journey. Because a chariot can indicate travel, but maybe this is more like an astral projection, spiritual journey, an inside journey, where you want to make some choices in this life path. But questions just keep coming up. And the need for making some decisions is there with the Seven of Cups card. It's about making difficult decisions and the chariot's about opposing forces. So here you've got a lot of cups to choose from and each one carries a poison or a prize. And which one should you choose? And which one should you lose? Now there's a lot of other cups here too because in the center for what is or can be yours receive the ace of cups and the two of wands a seed of emotional beginnings is being offered to you for love passion companionship family amenity and even an overall well-being of emotions for a new spiritual awakening 
But there's decisions to be made. And the Two of Wands indicates that again. Because the number two is about decisions, partnership, and balance. And it is connected to the Seven of Cups. But I think what you're looking for now is balance. Balance that the Moon card wasn't giving you because the words nefarious and circumspect and conscientious and conscious keeps coming into my mind from the Moon card. And now it's time to take a few risks and get rid of the circumspect. Get rid of the nefarious ideas. And go forward because over on your self and self-awareness you receive the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Another Ace card. But this one's about a creative, inspirational, new beginning. But you have to understand that Aces are just a promise, a seed. And it's up to you to make the decisions and find the balance to go forward. And the Ten of Cups is a Glimpse of heaven over the rainbow of cups. It's the happiness card. But it requires simplicity and honesty and unpretentiousness. Because a complex life is not a happy life. And now that you've got all these new beginnings, over on the future received two magician cards and the queen of cups. Now the queen of cups is about intuition and She's definitely connected to the moon card, but she's not all of the nefarious things that the moon can represent. The shadows, the shadow self, illusions, disillusionment. The queen is there now for you to use your gut feelings and intuition in making decisions too. I mean, reason and logic should always be there, but sometimes we ignore our gut feelings, something that says something isn't right or something is definitely working right and to go forward. Now the magician is about new beginnings, manifesting something from nothing, making substance from just your ideas and your free will. But what the magician does is he gives you all the tools you need. Now you just have to apply your knowledge and wisdom to turn everything into a reality. And no longer will you need to be feeling lost in the obscure light of the moon. And I wish you acceptance, peace, and happiness.